Okay, so in this example, they want us to find side length FG, which is this side length. So we don't know the length. We'll call it X. Okay, okay. just pick a variable. But we know that corresponding sides have the same ratio. So we have to figure out which side this corresponds with. So one way to do this is to redraw your triangle so that they're in the same position. Yeah. So I'm going to redraw triangle F, and I'm going to label it F. This is where F is, yeah. G, and J. Now we want to flip triangle H, I, J so that it's in the same position, right? Well, that triangle, oh, that's flipping confusing me. So that's same So as this that. is this triangle, okay? So I just redrew that. I didn't change any of it around. Oh, okay. okay. So this is 43 degrees. And do we know the side length of F, J? Um, no. Oh, wait, we do. We yeah. said FJ, yeah, yeah. 18.9. Good, so we'll label that, because we know that this side length is 18.9, yeah. okay? Well, we need to redraw HIJ, this triangle here. Yeah. Well, here's the right angle. I want to draw it in the same position as this right angle, because we know that their corresponding angles will be equal. So let's make this one green. So I know that this is a right angle triangle as well, right? Mm -hmm. Which letter is labeled where the right angle is? H. Good. So this is H. And if we actually flip this around, what's above the H? What letter? Um, I. Good. So I has to be here, which means that this is actually... Oh, because the I is above the H. Yeah. We turned around. That's we flip it around. Yeah. So if, And then this is J. So they both have the letter J because... This this part right here is labeled as J. Okay. And that was the last loose spot. Right. Anyway, so you know J goes okay, so let's fill it in. Where would I put 6.3? What side length? It's between J and I. J and I, perfect. So this is 6.3. Yeah. And which side length is 4.3? Between H and I, so there. Good. Oh, I like this unit. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually now easy to look at. Now we can figure out which sides are corresponding. So let's let's use different colors. Let's start with triangle one. Yeah. F G yeah. corresponds with which tri which side length? H I. Good. These two sides correspond. Yeah. And then we have two other measurements. We know eighteen point nine. Mm -hmm. That corresponds with which side length in the second triangle? Six point three. Perfect. Which so is, um, I J. I J. Good. So now we can set up our our ratio. Yeah. Well, we know that x over 4.3 mm -hmm. has to be equal to 18.9 over what? 18.9 over... Sorry, um, 6.3. Good. Remember what we discovered earlier? We discovered that all the ratios of the corresponding sides will be equal. Yeah. They'll have the same ratio because they're similar triangles. Well, all we need to do in this question is find x. Yeah. So we can cross multiply. Okay, we're going to cross multiply to solve for x. Because we set up a proportion, we, we know that we can say that these two ratios are equal. So now we can just cross multiply. Yeah. Okay, so, so because we don't know x, we're just going to write x times 6.3 but then we're going to cross multiply. Can we figure out 4.3 times 18.9? Can we do yes, that? We yeah, can. we'll do that on a calculator. Oh. So 4.3 times 18.9. 4.3 times 18.9 is 81, what was it? 81.27. Yeah, we'll leave it. We won't round it, though. Okay, so 81.27. But I need to isolate x, so now what do I have to divide this side by? It's the same itself. Right, 6.3. Yeah. That's how I can cancel this out. But because I divided the left side by 6.3... I have to do also to the next. Right. We have to divide the right side by 6.3. So we're just left with x. Yeah. Divided right? by 6.3. So we have x. Now we're going to do 81.27 divided by 6.3. To get the final answer, 12.9. So x is equal to 12.9. Therefore, side length fg 
this one that we're trying to find yeah. is approximately, or it's equal to, sorry, 12.9 units. Kind of mm -hmm. makes sense. This side length is 18.9. Mm -hmm. This one was 4.3, and this one was 6.3. So this triangle is actually smaller, right? Yeah, but... So, so this FG is 12.9, 12 12 and we just solved to yeah. find FG. Made with DoodleCast Pro.